I felt an amok within. This isn't a statue, it's a dormant Senta monster. Very old. Gabriel Agrest wouldn't be as successful without his loyal assistant, Natalie Sokar. She has been at Gabriel's side since the beginning of the series. Without her, many of his plans wouldn't go as well as they do. Not only is Natalie intelligent and resourceful, but she makes a compelling villain that Miraculous Ladybug fans can't help supporting. In this video, we're reviewing some of the best Natalie moments that highlight her skills. I'm afraid Ladybug has grown reluctant to giving Chloe the Bee Miraculous. She's being very careful. Number 10. She Recognizes Feast as the villain Mayura and the personal assistant to Gabriel, Natalie knows a lot about the Miraculous. She helps him decipher the Miraculous Grimoire, a book full of information about previous Miraculous wielders and their powers. Her ability to understand the book showcases her extensive knowledge of the magical jewelry. Natalie exhibits more of this knowledge in the episode Feast. In the episode, she accompanies Adrian to an unveiling at the Louvre Museum. The statue, to Natalie's surprise, is a dormant Senta monster. She later uses this information to help Gabriel with a new plan, as they unleash the center monster feast to hunt down the other miraculous. Do you really want me to destroy you? <laughs> Number 9. She confronts the heroes. The heroes make a formidable opponent out of Myura. As unlike Gabriel, Natalie has no problem venturing into Paris to meet her goals. In the episode Miracular, she directly confronts Chloe Bourgeois, encouraging her to betray the heroes for the use of the Bee Miraculous. Chloe refuses the offer, and Natalie engages in combat with her. Chloe isn't the only one she confronts, as Ladybug and Cat Noir must call on their allies to help defeat the akumatized villain Miracular. Miracular's abilities allow her to steal the hero's abilities, which makes her a powerful teammate for Myura to depend on. The pair engage in a fight against Ladybug, Cat Noir, Queen Bee, Rena Rouge, and Carapace. Myura gives her all but eventually leaves the battle when Queen Bee nearly takes the Peacock Miraculous. Come back, Mayura. You've got the Bee Miraculous already. Miracula will take care of Cat Noir and Ladybug's Miraculous. Number 8. She tries to give Adrian a good Christmas. Natalie cares deeply for the aggressed family, and that love carries to Adrian. Although she partakes in evil acts, her prime motivation is to bring the aggressed family back together. She tries to do this for Adrian and Gabriel throughout the series, with occasional success. An example of her attempts occurs in the Miraculous Christmas Special. The special is also considered the episode Santa Claus and features Adrian as he deals with the first Christmas without his mother. The episode shows him decorating a Christmas tree with Natalie, only to walk away when Gabriel doesn't join them. Natalie acknowledges Adrian's disappointment and tries to salvage his Christmas by confronting Gabriel. She reminds him that both he and Adrian are mourning Emily and that they should spend the day together. Check it out, Natalie. Do you think you'll like all the decorations? Number 7. She helps Adrian attend public school. Adrian reveals throughout the series that he's lived a relatively sheltered life. In the episodes detailing the origins of Ladybug and Cat Noir, Adrian attempts to attend public school for the first time. His first appearance in the episode is running away from Natalie and his bodyguard as he tries to reach College Francois Dupont. He gets caught after running into Master Fu but attempts to join the school the following day. In the episode Stoneheart, Natalie and Gabriel recognize his desperation. During a video conference with his father, Adrian is shocked to be permitted to attend school. The only rule is that he maintains his other studies, such as Chinese and piano. Gabriel then reveals that Natalie would make a schedule to help Adrian keep up with his many obligations. The conversation implies that Natalie advocated for Adrian and offered to help him. Please don't tell me you're still a fan of that… that… Time's up, Adrian. Your father could come out of his office at any minute. Number 6. She Creates Optigami Gabriel Agrest is a villain of opportunity. In the earlier seasons of Miraculous Ladybug, he dedicates extended time to the first negative emotion he encounters. It's not until later seasons that the audience witnesses him searching for negative emotions with more power than the rest. Natalie, in contrast, puts careful consideration into his plans and has the patience to wait them out. After they learn the identities of various miraculous wielders in the episode Miracle Queen, Natalie reveals that she created a Senta monster to track them. The Senta monster is shown in the episode Optigami as it follows Paris's heroes in an attempt to learn Ladybug's secret identity. Natalie does become discouraged when Optigami can't discover anything new, but with Gabriel's help, she creates a new plan to trap the heroes and lure Ladybug. Chloe Bourgeois, holder of the Miraculous of the Bee, neutralized Optigami, go find the others. Number 5. Allows Adrian to interact with his friends Adrian's overly sheltered life doesn't leave him with many socialization opportunities. Throughout the series, he lacks time with his friends because of his father's overbearing influence. 
Fortunately, Natalie has always prioritized Adrian's well-being and happiness. She will, on occasion, disregard a direct order from Gabriel if she believes Adrian could benefit from an opportunity. For example, in the episode Oni-chan, Natalie allies Lila into the aggressed estate when Adrian isn't permitted to have friends over. She is unaware that Lila manipulates her into doing so, but Natalie believes that the girl will help Adrian with his grades. She allows the pair to go to his room and justifies her actions when Gabriel later confronts her. You mean so much to me, and even if I can't actually do anything for you, I'll always be there for you. Always. <laughs> Number 4. Trying to make good on her promise to Emily Natalie's close ties to the aggressed family extend to Emily as well. In the episode Passion, Natalie opens a safe where she keeps a spare phone. The phone contains video messages from Emily, seemingly made because her elusive illness was catching up to her. Natalie promises Emily to help care for Adrian and takes her friend's final wish seriously. In the same episode, Natalie learns about Gabriel's injury from Cat Noir's cataclysm. His injury and her illness appear to be equally fatal. Natalie becomes desperate to prevent Adrian from being left alone and allows her to be akumatized into the villain, Safari. As Safari, she hopes to betray Gabriel and obtain the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous to make a wish. It's damaged. It's way too dangerous. I want to help you. All the way to the end. Number 3. Taking the Peacock Miraculous Natalie takes on immense amounts of work to help Gabriel achieve his goals. As an assistant, she helps manage his business and raise his son. Her devotion to him becomes clear early on in the series, but she takes it a step further in the episode Mayura. Natalie has known about Gabriel's efforts as Hawk Moth for some time, and she takes the Peacock Miraculous to become his new partner. As the villain Mayura, Natalie creates scent monsters that aid the people that Hawk Moth akumatizes. She spends several episodes constructing new threats for Ladybug and Cat Noir, but her power comes with a tremendous cost. As Natalie uses the damaged Peacock Miraculous, she becomes very ill, eventually rendering her incapable of continuing as Myura. Gabriel? Find food for these useless creatures. Number 2. She renounces Gabriel's actions. Although Natalie has shown cruel behavior as Cataclyst and Myura, she appears to have a line she won't cross. In Season 5, her illness continues to hinder her. She is desperate for a chance to save herself and Emily, so she counts on Gabriel using the Rabbit Miraculous in the episode Evolution. The plan was for Gabriel to use the Rabbit Miraculous to travel into the past, where he would prevent Emily from using the Peacock Miraculous while it was damaged. Gabriel quickly becomes distracted by Ladybug and Cat Noir, he focuses his efforts on finding a moment in time when he can exploit the hero's weaknesses. His obsession with Ladybug causes him to lose the Rabbit Miraculous. Afterward, he tries to blame his loss on Ladybug, but Natalie claims that his fixation has gone too far and that he is undeserving of her help. Gabriel, if you'd spent more time with your son, you would have known he prefers his pancakes plain. Adrian, if you didn't want bananas, you could have told me. Number 1. She allows Adrian to pursue love. Adrian lives with his life under the thumb of his father. Gabriel goes so far as to premeditate Adrian's relationships, as he only approves of his son dating Kagami. Despite his father's meddling, Adrian still falls in love with Marinette in Season 5. Gabriel does everything he can to prevent their relationship from continuing, and in the episode Passion, Adrian confides in Natalie. The two sit together in Natalie's room and talk about love. Natalie reveals some information about her own experiences with love, and later asks him for more details about his crush. Unlike Gabriel, Natalie encourages this development, claiming he deserves the chance to be happy. Her dedication to his happiness facilitates her to have conflicts with Gabriel in the episodes that follow. Don't ever do that again. I came to this house to hunt magical artifacts for you and Emily. I became your bodyguard, your right-hand woman, your friend, and even more. Natalie's character is equal parts complex and sincere. She keeps her cards close to her chest, which makes her the perfect partner for Gabriel Agrest. Her capability to keep a secret and make difficult decisions aids her in her schemes as Catalyst, Myura, and whomever she may become in future seasons. Luckily, her closeness to Adrian may benefit Ladybug and Cat Noir. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Watch out now, Mel. Are you all right? Uh -huh. Natalie, what's going on? She was akumatized by Monarch.